Hello and welcome back to Hard Reset Info. In this video, I will show you how to snap your Vivo V50 Lite. Let's begin! So, as you can see, we are freshly after a hard reset and now we can begin the process of setting up this device. Let's start with hitting start. And now I want to select our location. In order to be honest, I will choose Poland. And now we need to agree to privacy terms and other agreements. So let's hit next. And now we can use uh, other device to set it up. Now, if you are switching and if you are moving from older Vivo device or any kind of device really, um, then you can go with Android device or iPhone or iPad and then you should transfer every single settings using that. But I am not going to do that in this video because we have other tutorials on the channel. So let's hit skip and let's manually get through the process of setting up the phone. Now we want to connect to our Wi-Fi. I will connect to this one. And now I will input the password. So I will simply uh, stall the phone for a moment. All right, the password is now inputted. And let's hit connect. And as you can see, we have now an internet connection. We can see it in the top right corner. And now our phone is getting ready. And uh, this part is will be probably Google parts, uh, judging by the font, the icon, etc. So let's wait for a moment. Okay, I have paused the recording. Uh, since it did took some time, uh, now we are checking info, so this will also probably take some time, so I will see you in a moment. Okay, few seconds have passed and now we are, we can log in into our Google account, so now I will uh, log in. And, oh. I almost knew how to do that. And now a little fun fact, you don't really have to input uh, the gmail.com every time, as this will be inputted automatically. So now I will input the password, so uh, <laughs> I will see you in a moment. All right, let's hit next. And now we are successfully logged in. Now we can go through the process of setting up the family link if we want to and we can do that by setting my child will be using this device and hitting next uh, but I will not set this function because we do have other tutorials on how to set up uh, the parental controls and most people will anyway use the device instead of setting up device for their children so let's hit next now we need to agree to other Google Terms of Service, etc, etc. And now we are getting account information. This might also take a while, so I will also pause the recording. So we'll see you in a moment. Okay, turns out I didn't have to do that. It wasn't really that long. Now we can set unlock methods. We could potentially skip this part, uh, but I'm going to simply go with a screen lock. Um, we can go with, well, I don't want a pin, I want a pattern. So this is how you switch to a different uh, lock screen method. I will go with a very simple L shape. Now let's hit next because I can skip fingerprint and face because as I said before, we do have other tutorials on the channel. And now we can copy apps and data from other device. And uh, now I could go he here and go with next, but I don't have other device on me right now and there's just no need to do that. And once again, we have other tutorials on how to, how to transfer data from one device to the other. So I will go with don't copy. And now we want to agree and enable different Google services. The very first one is your location, allow scanning, send usage and diagnostic data, installed updates and apps. You can enable those or leave those if you want to. I will leave them and let's hit accept. Now we can turn on backup. I'm going to disable this since, uh, well, there is a limit on the cloud. 
and yeah, we do have a lot of phones. But if you are a typical user that will just normally use the device, I would strongly advise you to turn on the backup because then you will be able to easily get your data back whenever something bad happens to your device. But once again, I'm going to disable this. However, if you are a normal user, please consider leaving this enabled and then going to turn on backup. Now we can choose our browser and search engine. So let's hit next. I'm going to go with the Firefox. Let's hit set as default. And a search engine, I will go with Google. Though Google recently added these AI searches, which are pretty A, but you know. Now we can continue setup, or we can just leave the setup now and uh, end it some sometimes else. But I really want to show every single thing in this video, so I will go with continue. Now we have the option to let contacts nearby find and share with you. Uh, we can go with I agree, but or no thanks. It completely depends on you. Uh, just remember that this feature will kind of waste battery in the background, but I will leave this as I agree. Now we can set up our uh, assistant. And if you want to have, uh, have it uh, activate whenever we say, hey Google, I will skip this part. And now this is a typical assistant. Um, we could enable this function. Once again, I'm not a big fan of Google Assistant, but if you really like it, we can say, I agree. We can also set up the Google Pay. I'm not going to do that because I don't have a paying card on me right now, uh, but we do have other tutorials on Google Pay. Now, anything else, we can add another email account. We have tutorials on that. This, is, this can be easily found in display settings. Uh, this will install a bunch of bloatware, so we want to skip this part. Uh, this is also found in the settings, and this is also found in the settings. So I will hit no thanks. And now our phone is finally getting ready for our usage. So yeah, oh, we also have the keep system updated. Um, I will hit next, since it will automatically update our system. I will disagree to send you such a diagnostic data. Uh, I will... what is that? Earphone week pairing feature to perform actions. I will disable this because I have no idea what this is. Now we can also select a system navigation mode. I will go with gesture navigation because I just really, really love the gestures. So let's hit next. And finally, we are all set up. So let's hit get started. And now we should be able to use our device freely. And yeah, we are here. And now we can just freely use our device. So yeah, that's all for the setup. And that's all for the video. If you found it useful, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.